What is up guys, Wasted Game here to unboxing Call of Duty Black Ops Declassified for the PS Vita. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Now, I've been meaning to get this game for a while for the PS Vita, right? But either it's just been hard to find or it's been a little bit expensive. But recently the prices have dropped for the Vita games and this kind of dropped to a reasonable price. So I thought, why not go and pick it up and see what it's about? You know, apparently it's kind of a continuation of the Black Ops series on the consoles. So it has its own wee storyline, but it's a kind of continuation of the, the console, the bigger brother console games. So let's unbox this and see what we get. So in the front, we've got Call of Duty Black Ops Classified. We've got some nice artwork on the back right there. And on the side, this is Call of Duty Black Ops Classified. And on the back, right, it just tells you a little bit about the game. And it does kind of state on the back as well that it has multiplayer on it. So if you want to play multiplayer, if you have other Vitas around, or if you just want to go online with your Vita, you can go online and play online, which is really cool that is. And over here, it just tells you what you can do in the online multiplayer mode. And it kind of tells you right here, right, a continuation of the original Black Ops and Black Ops 2. So it's kind of in between the storyline of that. That's pretty cool how it has its own storyline and everything. So that's cool that is. And over here, it just tells you a little bit about the game. It's one player, two, two to eight players if you want to play online. It kind of tells you the memory size right there, which is not bad on the memory. It tells you it uses the touch screen and the rear pad and the dual analog sticks and the microphone. So it kind of uses pretty much all the Vita features. So let's get to see what we get. I know we're not going to get much with it. So yeah, if you know, no instruction manual as usual. And then obviously we get the game itself. So that's what the game looks like. Just a simple cartridge right there. And that's pretty much all you get, you know. I think the days have gone where we've got instruction manuals and everything now. Like those days are gone now, you know, because... I don't know, they're just doing it to save paper. I understand their meaning behind it, but it just feels like you're not getting as much when you're buying a game nowadays, you know, because before you used to get a big instruction manual, but the, and you, you had a space for notes in the back of it. So it was, you felt like you were getting a little bit more, even though you weren't, it was just like a booklet, but you just feel that you get a little bit more of that. So yeah, I'm not really feeling no instruction manual, but what can you do, you know? <laughs> they're not gonna watch this video and listen and put instruction manuals in the next game. So yeah, that's pretty much it, the unboxing video of this. But what I'll do is I'll give you my thoughts on this, right? My thoughts on this is go and pick up Killzone Mercenary first. If you want a really good shooter game for the Vita, right? Go and pick up Killzone Mercenary, okay? That's the best shooter on the Vita, like the mechanics and everything like that because they kind of went all out on that game and it just, just the overall the better shooter compared to the Call of Duty and compared to Unit 13, right? So I'll get this second, right? If you kind of got a Vita, right? You got a brand new Vita and you kind of want to get some shooters for it, go and get kills on Mercenary first and then check out this one right here because that's what I did. And a lot of people kind of recommended that as well because that's kind of my recommendation right here because I kind of want to help you guys out. I don't, I don't want you guys to waste your money on something that you could like get something that you'd be more happier with. So that's what I'm kind of telling you my thoughts of it and my experiences with it. So I definitely highly suggest you go and pick up Kills on Mercenary and then go and pick up Call of Duty Black Ops Declassified. And then the last one you should pick up is Unit 13. Like Unit 13, that's the last one you should pick up, okay? Because it's not the best shooter, but if you want to be a completionist, then go ahead and go and get it. But like I said, it's not the best shooter on the Vitas. Yeah, I know, I know there's like no gameplay to this video and no nothing, but Keep in mind, right, I'm just kind of doing a quick unboxing video of it and just, you know, showing you my thoughts of it. And that's kind of what I want to do with this video, is just kind of show you my thoughts of it and give you some recommendations of what games you should get, what shooters you should get for your Vita because I've been there, I've done that, so I kind of want to help you guys out when you make your purchase on your game. So and that's pretty much it, the unboxing video of Call of Duty Black Ops Declassified and a quick kind of recommendation for me of what shooter you should get first. But don't get me wrong, I have kind of played this game before uh, on the Vita and it is a good game but I think Kills and Mercenary is, is better. So that's it for the video of Call of Duty Black Ops Declassified Unboxing. Leave a like if you like this video right here, subscribe to the channel if you're new and don't forget to go and check out my full PS Vita playlist on the channel because I've done so many videos on the PS Vita so if you're interested in that I highly suggest you check it out. I'll leave it on the end screen annotations or over there. And that's pretty much it for the video, and I'll catch you guys next time. PS Vita 1000, you're probably wondering why am I getting the PS Vita 1000 and all that stuff, because you already have a PS Vita 2000 right here. 
The only reason why I wanted to go back to the PS Vita 1000 is because I'm not 100% happy with the PSP, the PS Vita 2000 purely because of the LCD screen which I never really got used 